welcome back to It Figures, and I am continuing my Doctor Who day by reviewing David Tennant's Sonic Screwdriver. Now, actually, Christopher Eccleston had this first, and then uh, David Tennant got it, and he used it throughout the, his entire uh, Doctor Who um, reign that he had. And this, as soon as this came out, I bought it. <laughs> because I'm a huge uh, David Tennant fan, obviously, and huge Doctor Who fan, so... Here, this is the first Sonic Screwdriver that I owned, and I still have it, and it still works pretty well. So first off, let's take a look at the top of it. So just like this one that was from um, Tom Baker's, it does have that metallic paint on there. It looks really nice. It looks really, really good that, that they uh, did it. And after all these years I had this thing, it's, I don't know, but what, five, ten years? Um, maybe longer? <laughs> that I've had this and it's still, you can see it still looks really good. So the top of it is obviously blue and it does light up, which I'll show you there in a minute. One kind of cool feature on this, if you look real close on these like metal rods that are holding the top of it on, uh, there's circles. So that's kind of cool. Uh, little details like that are pretty awesome and it's there inside of each one of these. Now the actual base itself is made out of this weird like cracked substance. So it's pretty interesting material that, I mean, it's plastic. I mean, this whole thing's plastic, but I don't know what material they actually used in the show to make this or what it's supposed to be. It's more, I guess it's supposed to be more organic looking, and it looks really nice. Now we get to the end of this. <laughs> and I guess when they brought this out, they were intending to sell it just for kids, or I don't really know the purpose of this, but what they sold us with was, was this here, and it came with one other thing, and what this is, is a pin. This is a Doctor Who Sonic Screwdriver pin. Now, I don't know if they've changed them through the years and they took this off of there. I, I would hope they did because it's kind of goofy. It's like, I don't really want a Sonic Screwdriver pin. I just wanted a Sonic Screwdriver. That you pop that cap back on there and, you know, now you have a Sonic Screwdriver. But it's just weird that it came with a pin. And this pulls off of here, just like that. And why it does that is because you have a marker, I believe, it also came with this. So you can swap it out for a pen or a marker and then pop it in there and yeah. It's just kind of, was, it was a gimmick that I don't think was absolutely necessary for this sonic screwdriver. Now over here, again, this is something else that I wish they would have done a little bit more subtle. Instead of having this huge square on the side of here, maybe make it a little bit smaller or somehow do something so it's not sticking out so much. Um, you know, you push it up and of course the top comes up. So let's take a look here. So there you go. Now the top has popped up and it has sort of a clear tube and there's like a black, uh, almost looks like a black piece of licorice inside of it. But it's sort of like a, I don't know what, it's a stem, a, a screw, or I don't know what it is. So it's, it's, it's Doctor Who is what it is. So it comes up into the top here. Now, over here, again, you have two big buttons. They're not as bad as the big knob over here, but when you have this down, you can only use the bottom button and make it to light up. So with lights on, it's really hard to see. Okay, all lights off, so there you go. It still lights up pretty bright, too. I think the batteries are going out because it's so old, and I have no idea how to replace the batteries in this thing. I have, I have no idea, so. <laughs> Or if you, even if you can. Now the kind of cool thing about this is when you do push it up like that, this button does not work anymore. So it has no function. So you have to go to the top button and hit that. So overall, it is a cool sonic screwdriver. Not a big fan of the big black pin tip here at the end of it. Not a fan of this either. Uh, and I haven't looked into these since they've come out. So I have no idea if they've improved them, if they've changed them, if they took the dumb pin off of it. <laughs> I really don't know, but overall, yeah, this is my first size screwdriver that I ever owned, and I still have, and it still works perfectly, and the paint and everything still looks fine, nothing is broken off of it, so yeah, I'm still in great shape. So if you like this review, make sure you hit that subscribe button by activating your Sonic, just like that, and now you've been subscribed and you've become one of our maniacs here on Box Office Maniac. So next week, I have Matt Smith's Sonic for you, so you don't want to miss that. So make sure you tune back in and check out the next Sonic Screwdriver and the next Doctor Who review right before it. And I'll see you next time here on...